Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect a Squarespace domain to WordPress in 2024. To connect your Squarespace domain to WordPress, you will need to update your domain DNS settings in Squarespace to point your WordPress hosting provider. So this will also allow you to custom or your custom domain to direct visitors to your WordPress hosted website instead. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video simply, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, you'll need to go and open a browser. Here I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section. Make sure to open both your Squarespace, as an example, .com and open your wordpress also for me i'll just open a local host also so here make sure to log in into all your accounts as example wordpress and like your uh, squarespace if you have an account if you don't have an account go and create a new one uh, very simple as example so for me here i'll just choose google so i don't have to go through all as you can see you have a lot of options google apple github so if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account it should be very fast squarespace is against him or the login so just access my dashboard right away and yeah here we are so on squarespace first of all you'll have to verify that domain name so click on domains here and as you can see maybe you did not renew your domain maybe you did not do something right so just check that you have your domains and verify it's there so here if you don't have it of course you can get a domain first of all if you want you can simply or directly get this in wordpress if you uh, just want to transfer it not just connect it uh, but if you want to connect this of course you can get this on uh, squarespace you can even check like the prices depending on whatever you want maybe you want to get the cheapest you can check the same domain name if it's not uh, ha uh, gets the button in one yet you can simply get check it and both wordpress and squarespace but as an example here just enter the domain name that you want as an example maybe omex like example tester.com and check if it's in there as an example uh it's in here so okay i like that i'll just go and get it 12 dollars per year as you can see you can get another one like .net and .org with it for me i'll just go and click on continue to check out once i do so here i'll be taken to this page registration sir so ensure domain ownership and look in the current price for a number of years selected by choosing a multi-year term so if you choose one year you'll pay 12 dollars but each year you add it will add 20 dollars even if you add 10 years as you can see you'll not get any other discounts other than this eight dollar so click on save and continue depending on the number of years that you want then fill up all the information like registration informations, address informations, payment informations, pay for it, and then you'll find this on your domains right here. But if you already like own one and you just want to transfer it, you can simply click on transfer domain here, enter the domain that you want to transfer as an example. So maybe omen uh, omics like tester as you saw said before. As you can see, hit the enter button and for me. You'll find it just registered yet. For you, you'll find the instructions not to do it. Let's see as an example. Uh, let's say if we find this. But it will not be owned by our account, so we'll not be able to transfer it uh, from our account. But let me just see what's gonna uh, uh, happen here. So you can see here, you'll need to get an authorization code. It will be sent to the specific like uh, account that you have. But for me, it's not like my account, so you will not send me anything. But basically, just click on transfer. Here you'll have to enter any other information and the payments and etc. to transfer it, and you should be good to go. But if you want to connect this, of course, you can go to your WordPress example to get the DNS records. So basically, I'll just go here to WordPress. So as an example here, if we go to maybe settings as an example, so let me just go and look for. So yeah, here free domain example, just click on that as an example. Just first of all, if you're trying to transfer, let's just test like Omex to search. Let's just see the price here and in WordPress as an example. So as you can see uh, the price, it seems like $12 per year, same price, but you'll get free first year if you get like a plan. So if you go here and click on select, let's just see how much the plan is going to cost. So that's that yeah as an example this plan four dollars gets you like a domain for one year if you want to get that as an example it seems good 
So you can simply there complete your purchase and etc. Let's see, uh, or let's say we are going to choose like a domain that is already owned as example. So I don't want to claim, but I want to transfer as example. So yeah, it seems like, okay, not from here. This is how to get it. I want to transfer it. So we go here to upgrade this example and on upgrade we'll find domains. So here add a new domain. Of course you can add a new one, but for me I don't want to add a new one. I'll just go here and click on use a domain I own. As example here, I'll just choose for omex maybe test as example.com and click on continue. So I don't know if yeah, transfer this domain. So I'll just go and click on transfer if you want to transfer it or connect it if you want to connect it. For us, we would like to connect. So example, I'll just go here and click on connect. Once I click on connect, of course, they'll tell me like how much uh, depending on whatever I choose in here and etc. Fill up all those informations. Then once you fill up all those informations, etc., you will basically give you some DNS records. What should I do with this DNS records? All I need to do go back to squarespace i'll find the domain here click on manage once i click on manage on this dns records i'll be able to change uh, those dns records from the one that they give me here once i finish all those just make sure to save and here you'll find a verify option of course you'll not be able to verify until like just wait don't verify it until like 12 hours pass because the uh, changing of the dns records may take some time so even if you save, even if you did anything, it may be faster, but you can, of course, click on verify how many times you want. So you can always go back and check if it's verified or not yet. So after 12 hours, you can go back and check if you entered the right DNS records. If not, of course, if it works as intended correctly, that means good. If you click on verified, it's verified. You can simply just go and set this primary domain in WordPress and test the connection by simply entering the domain on another live tab or another browser. See if it's going to show the website that you have as an example on your WordPress. If it is, that's going to be good to go for you. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.